If you thought that helium IoT mining is dead and gone, I'm here to tell you that you are wrong. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can increase the value of the helium IoT network, earn more rewards on your own IoT hotspot and grab some Dymo bonus rewards along the way. Now, before I explain how you can get in on the action, let's talk about IoT coverage mapping. As you can see here on the website or in the documentation of Helium, IoT coverage mapping is important because it will help users and companies understand where the sensors can be deployed. So as you can see on this map, and if we click here, then we go to the Mapper website. So this is the official tool. Give it some time to load. Then you'll see all these different hexagons. So the gray ones, they haven't been mapped out yet. The green ones, they have. So if you click on one of these, you will get some more information. So in this hexagon, there is a whole list of hotspots, as we can see. And you can see the strength of the signal and so forth. So this information is, of course, very important. If you plan to put up some sensors, you want to make sure that you have a signal. So that's the point of the IoT coverage mapping. And the more up to date it is, the better. So this hexagon was updated eight months ago, so that's not super accurate. Now when we go back to the documentation and we scroll down to the frequently asked questions. Going back to the documentation, we see that all of this is crowdsourced effort. Scrolling down, we get a little bit more information. Do I earn rewards for contributing? And the answer is no. So this means that people who have been mapping have been doing this voluntarily and they have to do it one with their own device. And second of all, we can see that you actually have to buy DC tokens as well to pay for the data transmission. If you want to know how much these data credits cost, you can go here, which is the data credits portal. There you'll find some more information and the link to the portal itself, which is dc-portal.helium.com. On this page, you'll be able to buy the tokens and see the price. So right now for $1, you will get 100,000 DC tokens. So yeah, it's not that expensive and you'll be able to send out a lot of signals. But nonetheless, you'll have to pay for these uh, tokens in order to map out the network. As I mentioned before, you don't just need to buy the credits, you will also need a hardware device to send out the signal. So again, in the docs, we can find this IoT Mapper Quick Start, and here you will see the different devices that you can buy. You have the plug and play devices for which you have to buy data credits. You have the fully pre-configured ones, which come already with data credits, so that's one step less. And then you have the do-it-yourself mappers. So if you go through this list, you will find that some of them are really cheap, between 30 and 40 bucks. These ones are a bit more expensive, and then these ones are completely ready to go. So let's just take a look at how much the REC wireless costs. And over here, we can see that this device costs $99. And then we take a look at the second device from Seed Studios, which is called the YO Terminal. And this one is being sold for more or less the same price, $89. That, of course, brings us to the next question. Who in his right mind would spend 90 bucks on a device then pay for data credits just to map out a network? Well, first of all, maybe you like to support the Helium network and you want to make sure that everybody has up-to-date information, but that will probably not be the case. So who's left? Well, people who want to use the Helium IoT network or they want to check if their own devices have a strong signal, yes or no. So basically, if you want to place a sensor and you want to make use of the Helium network, you want to know where to place it and if the signal strength is good enough. And if it isn't, then you can add one of your own hotspots to make sure that the signal is strong enough. So that's a perfectly logical use case and the reason why somebody would buy one of these mappers. Now, of course, I wouldn't be making this video if there isn't a more interesting and exciting way to do mapping the other solution that I'm actually talking about is called Dymo. So Dymo is a completely independent project from Helium, and they have recently released a new device. This device is called the Dymo Macaron. So this one exists next to the original one, which is called the Dymo AutoPie. And I think that one is being sold for three or four hundred bucks. This one, on the other hand, is only costing 99 bucks, and it works with the Helium IoT network. Now, if you never heard about Dymo, you're probably wondering what the hell does this device do? Well, scrolling down in this article, you will quickly see that it comes with an app and this app gives you information on your car. So basically you take the Dymo device, you connect it to the console of your car, and then the Dymo device will send all the information about your car to this uh, application. 
And yes, probably if you're a car freak, you will say, well, I already have something like that, or I know there is existing software that does the same, and you are completely correct. But the interesting part is that this kind of software usually costs between eight and $15 per month. And right now, if you buy the Macaron, you buy the hardware for 99 bucks, and you can use the software for three years. So not only is it a smart investment if you're looking for this kind of software, it is also interesting if you're willing to share the information being collected by the device. Unlike most companies, Dymo is going to share the profits that they make from selling your anonymized car data to different parties that are interested in this data. For example, we have here Coverage Critic. So they're willing to pay for this data. And opposed to taking all the money from that sales, they're sharing it with you in a form of Dymo rewards. So yes, you're getting this nice software for three years for free. And on top of that, you are getting Dymo rewards if you're willing to share your data. Now, before you hit the pause button on this video and rush to buy one on the Dymo site, it is important that you double check that your car is compatible. Luckily, they have a compatibility checker and you find it right here. This page is very straightforward. You just type in the model that you have and then you can check if it's compatible. You also find a whole bunch of statistics and how many cars per brand have already been connected. Another thing you'll see is that the device is currently back ordered and it has an estimated shipping date of 8 to 10 weeks. And there's actually a very good reason for it. Right now, the Dymo Macaron can give you a return on investment in less than two months. So basically, that means that with this device, you can get a return of 50 to $100 per month. This, of course, reminds us of Helium back in 2021 when we were all making back our hotspots within the month. But we also remember, of course, that this only lasted for a few months and it doesn't last forever. Luckily, the risk is much lower than with a Helium 5G device because we're talking only about $100. Just as with Helium, time is of the essence because there is always a fixed amount of Dymo tokens being released per block. So let's imagine that amount is 1000 and we have only one user running the macaron, then that user will get all of those tokens. So he will be getting 1,000 tokens per block. If 1,000 cars are driving around with the macaron, then everybody will only get one token on average. So again, every day, more and more cars are getting these devices installed. So the rewards are being distributed over more and more people, which means less rewards on average per device. So again, it is important to realize that maybe right now people are making 100 bucks per month with this device. That doesn't mean that you will be making 100 bucks in 10 weeks from now. Most likely you will be earning less, let's say 70 to 80 bucks, for example. However, I've got some really good news. My friends from Helium Deploy, they reached out to me and they have the Dymo Macaron on their website with an estimating shipping date of one to two weeks. So that means that you'll be able to start mining these Dymo rewards six to eight weeks faster. And if you want to support the channel, then please use the uh, affiliate link that I put in the description of this video. I would appreciate that a ton. And when we take a look at this page on the Dymo website, we see that there is another very good reason to try and get your hands on one of these devices as soon as possible. And that is the Dymo Macaron Mapping Challenge. So this challenge is focused on mapping out the Helium IoT devices in the network. And you can, like I told you before, do that using the Dymo Macaron device. So very important, it is only possible with the Dymo Macaron and not with the more expensive Dymo Auto Pi. In this article, we see that the challenge runs from May 19th to June 30th. And scrolling down a little bit further, we see that they have allocated 350,000 Dymo tokens. At the current price of $0.2, that means that they have about $70,000 set out for additional rewards. So these are rewards on top of the regular Dymo rewards that you would receive. The rewards will be distributed over three categories, global, state, and city. And scrolling down, we see that global means in the US, EU, and in Canada. Another important thing to mention is that you will have to pass by at least 10 hotspots to qualify. And it's also important to know that just passing by is not enough. You have to be the first one to map out that hotspot. So if a hotspot is already mapped out, it doesn't count anymore. So yes, that means there is no point in driving around your house when you have an IoT hotspot set up. You will not be getting multiple points for that. Scrolling back up, we see that we have a state award and a city award as well. 
sadly not all regions qualify and not every city qualifies if you want to know exactly which city qualifies you'll have to go to the website of moken and moken is the partner of daimo in this challenge so on the landing page of the challenge on the moken website we see that the challenge is about to start and here you will also be able to see the leaderboard for global cities and states of course right now it's empty because we haven't started yet but you'll also be able to click here on cities and on states to see exactly which cities and states qualify so in the us we have a whole bunch if you go to europe we also see a whole bunch for example in portugal it is the lisbon area in spain it is only the barcelona area and then we move more up we see in belgium we have brussels antwerp netherlands we have amsterdam and rotterdam in uk also a whole bunch so yeah you get the point you can come here and check out if you are in that specific region and even if you're not in one of these regions that simply means that you can't qualify for the cities and states unless of course you drive in those uh, in those cities but you'll still be able to qualify for global now the guys from moken were kind enough to give me a little cheat sheet so if you want to know the specific rewards in a certain region that you can get by the leaderboard just post a comment and then I'll see if I can look it up. So right now we see that if you're in California, that will give you uh, quite a lot of rewards. So 1,400 Daimo tokens, which means a $300 on top of whatever you would have in, uh, in Daimo tokens, of course. Here we see the same thing. Let's just go down a little bit. If you are in Germany or the Netherlands, you will be getting 300 if you're on top of that leaderboard. And on the global one, we can see that you will be getting 10,000 Daimo rewards, which basically is $2,000 if you end up on the first place. Now, I'm still running a whole bunch of these uh, IoT miners myself. And yes, I know the returns aren't that great anymore, but I'm really happy to see initiatives like this. So basically, every time somebody with a Daimo, even outside this uh, challenge period, they will be sending a data request to your IoT hotspot and you will be receiving those data rewards and no i understand that will not make you rich but i think it's a very good use case and it will help map out the network and it will improve the mapper because as we see on the mapper from uh, from helium some of those locations haven't been updated in a year or just in eight months and so forth so that is not really accurate data with partnerships like this we can make sure that the data is more accurate and we have incentives for people to really drive around these areas and map out the different helium iot hotspots Personally, I am very excited to receive one of those uh, Dymo Macaron devices myself, and I will gladly install it into a car and have it drive around to map out the Helium network. Before, I did buy one of those Helium mappers purely because I was interested to, uh, to trying it out. But otherwise, if you are just an IoT miner, it doesn't really make that much sense to uh, spend $80 on a mapping device, especially not if you can buy a Dymo Macaron for the same price and have the same result and then earn rewards the daimo rewards on top of that all right that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit that like button don't hesitate to drop a little comment and don't forget to follow i also let you know that as soon as i have the daimo macaron myself and i've been able to drive around with it for some time um, i will be making a video on that as well thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one